welcome, my friend, welcome. We've also got an interpreter who's going to help us out. This is Mia, everyone. Take a seat, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Where did you get your first Rubik's Cube? When you were six. Right. So, how many Rubik's Cubes do you have? Around 500. 500? That's a lot of Rubik's Cubes. Is that 499 broken ones and one good one? <laughs> How long do you think it would take me to solve a Rubik's Cube? Uh, he said you couldn't do it in a million years' time. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. So, can you show us how you do it? Can we see you do it? Did you want him to um, be blindfolded? Sorry? He said he asked if he can do it blindfolded. Are you serious? He can do it blindfolded? Yeah. That's incredible. He wants everyone to be silent so he can concentrate. OK. He seems to be memorising the entire cube here, folks. Let's see how he goes. I tried to solve one once when I was blind and that didn't go so well, but it's a very different thing. How on earth can you solve it when you can't even see it? He says he has to remember the position of every single one and then he uses the formula. That's unbelievable. I can't remember how to spell his name and I've seen it written on the wall there about That's ten times. So, now, does he have an idol, someone he looks up to? Um, Felix Zemdags, and he really hopes to meet him while he's in Australia. And what does Felix do? Um, the best person that does Rubik's Cube, like the fastest record holder. Right. We have footage, apparently, of the man that is the world record holder. Let's have a look at the video. Wow. That is unbelievable. So he's, he's the best in the world. And, and you hope to meet him when you're in Australia? Yes. You don't have to wait too long. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage Felix. Take the seat. Hey, Johnny, how's it going? I think you may have been a bit of shock. Mate, welcome to the show. Um, that looked unbelievably quick. H how fast was that? It was it four or five seconds or something? It felt like it. Right. So how big is the community of Rubik's Cube solvers? Officially, there have been about 50,000 or 40,000 people that have ever competed. Uh, it's very popular in China and America as well. It's, it's definitely growing. So, how good is he? You're obviously aware of him. Uh, yes, so I've, yeah, I've heard of John Yu and his ability to solve cubes and, yeah. Well, you two look desperate to compete. You keep looking at each other. <laughs> it's like looking at two cowboys with guns in their holster. <laughs> do you want, do you yeah, want to have a go he against... wants to race. He wants to race. All right, let's, let's get into this. Here we go. Three, e two, R. one, go. Now, just so I can get this right, I believe you can you can solve more than one Rubik's cube at a time. How many can you solve at once? At once, probably just the one. Okay, stand by to be beaten. So, <laughs> let's go for a walk. Come on down here. We've got some Rubik's cubes waiting for you. 
It looks like Jian Yu has got three cubes this time. This is unbelievable. Oh, you're kidding. He's gonna do it with his feet. All right, here we go, folks. Three, two, one, go! Solving one cube is something. Solving three at once using both hands and both feet? The sheer complexity of this is just mind-blowing. Can you spot his technique? Do you know what it is he's doing? Uh, yeah, I can see pieces coming together and where he's up to on the various cubes. So how he's, he's up to the last layer on all of those cubes now. He's finished the bottom one. Welcome to the Little Big Shots YouTube channel. This is where you'll find some of the most talented children in the world. There are new videos every week, plus bonus bits of Little Big Shots not seen anywhere else. Just click on the links right now, and why not subscribe? Go on. <laughs>